Most patients with IgA nephropathy are asymptomatic and either present with visible hematuria or are found on routine screening to have microscopic hematuria and mild proteinuria. While most cases are associated with an upper respiratory tract infection, the inciting illness may also be gastroenteritis or urinary tract infection. It is also important to note that IgA nephropathy occurs just a couple days later. In contrast, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis usually develops 1-3 to three weeks after a streptococcal infection. Urinalysis usually shows red blood cells and mild proteinuria. Nephrotic range proteinuria also occurs in a minority of patients. As well, C3 levels are usually within normal limits, whereas they are lowered in post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. The diagnosis can only be confirmed with a biopsy. However, this is often unnecessary. Patients with isolated microscopic hematuria have an excellent prognosis and should not be biopsied. No specific treatment is needed for normal tense of patients with isolated hematuria, proteinuria less than 0.5, and a normal GFR. Instead, their condition needs to be monitored with blood pressure measurements, urinalysis, and renal function testing. ACE inhibitors are indicated once the patient develops hypertension and or proteinuria greater than 0.5 grams per day.